First Corinthioi, chapter 2. And I, brothers, when I came to you, came not with excellency of word or of wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of the God. For I did not resolve to have known anything among you, if not Yeshua anointed and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my word and my proclamation were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in God's power. We speak wisdom, however, among them that are full grown, yet a wisdom not of this eon, nor of the rulers of this eon, who are coming to naught. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery, the wisdom having been hidden, which the God foreordained before the eons to our glory, which none of the rulers of this eon hath known. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of the glory. But just as it hath been written, things which I saw not, and ear heard not, and which entered not into the heart of man, what things the God prepared for the ones mindfully loving him. But the God revealed such to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit is searching all things, even the depths of the God. For who among men knoweth the things of a man, except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so the things of the God none hath known, except the Spirit of the God. But we received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit from the God, that we might know the things that were graced to us by the God. Which things also we are speaking, not in words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Spirit teacheth, combining spiritual things with spiritual words. Now the soulish man is accepting not the things of the Spirit of the God, for they are being foolishness to him, and he is not being able to know them, because they are being judged spiritually. But the spiritual one is judging all things, and he himself is being judged by no one. For who hath known the mind of Lord Yahweh, that he should instruct him? But we are possessing anointed's mind.